What's going on, my ninjas? It is Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. And my ninjas are out working. I'm actually headed in the 93, as you can see, to get a couple of bags of black mulch, because they're gonna be uh, pulling up at that job that we did not, uh, well, we ran out of mulch that day, Saturday. A couple things, one, you guys like my new glasses? <laughs> uh, Sunday, I'll update you about Sunday. Slept in, of course, as you guys know. I'm sorry guys, I also have a window open. This truck does not have air conditioning. I gotta have some airflow. Uh, there's a big old truck right there in front of me. I'm blocking the road. But, um, slept in and then I went shopping. I went shopping with my wife and we just went, went out to eat, you know, just enjoyed ourselves. And I got some new shades, man. I still have the old ones. I'll probably be using them more than these because these are newer, of course. I'm still uh, just wanting to use the old ones more of uh, uh, usage since I've already, you know, got them broken in. And I, I try to baby these until I break them in. <laughs> I'm a big guy on glasses, sunglasses, guys. I'll get a pair, you know, at least once a year, sometimes twice. And uh, name brand pair too. It's just something I, I enjoy it. You know, it's, it's my thing, I guess. Uh, some people spend their money on cars. Some people spend their money on other things. Mine is, if it's not work related, it's shades and maybe video games. Cause I, I, I do enjoy still playing games, especially in the winter when things slow down. But anyway, so we did that. And then I went by my sister's and we had coffee, my mom was there, my sister, my brother-in-law, my wife. And guys, I did not leave till about 12, 30, 1 o'clock. It was just a family get together, you know, and by the time I got home, it was like two o'clock almost. And by the time I had to wrap up my list for the next day, which I did not have ready, it was just too late to make a video. It was just way too late. So I apologize about that. Um, since I'm not with my ninjas today much, I'll record a little bit where they're at and all that, you know, once I pull up. Um, as I'm finishing up with my routine of, with them and I gotta stop a couple, buy a couple of things, I'm gonna head back to the house. I'll basically turn today's video into like a Sunday vlog video and most couple of you have asked uh, for me to just talk about how I started my business and that's a great that's a great um, topic so I'm gonna do that but uh, I'll do that when I get home or you know as I'm headed home or something once I finish what I'm doing I'm stopping by Home Depot I'm gonna get some of that black diamond they actually have them there they don't have the big spoons but they have the definitely the bigger packages compared to what I got just for a sample and they're actually running out. They're actually running out because uh, Steve-O, Steve-O was texting me saying, Nick, I hope you get some today because uh, we, we've got enough to, for our next couple jobs, but hey, we're not going to be able to finish the day. So I told him no problem. Oh, another thing. They are in the 2009. So this morning we had to switch everything over into the 09. And... Uh, I had to take in the 2014 F-250 for the oil change, but not just the oil change. It's the big tune-up. It's the big 60,000 mile tune-up, which is the fuel uh, cleaner, uh, fuel system cleaner, I guess, is one of them. And then uh, the biggest part is the spark plugs. There's like, I, you know, I think I told you guys, there's two spark plugs per cylinder, so. You know, and there's, it's a, it's eight cylinder vehicle, but there's a lot of spark plugs. So I wanted to, you know, I try to, I told you guys before, I try to upkeep with all my stuff, trucks, mowers, whatever I can. Um, so right now I don't have a truck except the 93. I don't, I mean, I don't have a 09 or 2014, which the 93 is just fine. The only thing is it does not have AC. 
but it never came equipped with AC. It's not that it doesn't work. It's just this was uh, that was optional back in the day, apparently. I think I mentioned that to you guys. But if you open this window, and if you open this right here, there is some serious airflow going through that actually keeps you cool. It actually keeps you really cool. But I don't want to open it now because I'm talking to you guys and you're not gonna be able to hear me. But once I uh, finish talking to you, I will. I all, you know, I open this right here and I open that, and man, we're good. I, I'm good. Only other thing I. I really want to do in here is freaking put a radio because it's only got AM and again that was factory back then FM was an option apparently <laughs> uh, but I on the other hand I don't want to mess with it because it is so original I just don't want to mess with it so maybe if I don't do that maybe just buy one of those portable uh, radio Bluetooth thingies that you can just stick in here and uh, and listen to music so I think I'm gonna do that uh, one of those little circle ones you just stick in there it's bluetooth through your phone i i need some jams in here i can't i can't drive and not listen to music <laughs> um but that that's that so far guys so i really apologize about the sunday vlog so we're going to turn today into somewhat of a sunday vlog but i will show you a little bit of steve-o and justino my ninjas <laughs> and uh they're doing great. They got paid this morning. They freaking had 72 hours. Actually, Steve-O had 72 hours. Justin was out one day. So uh, he didn't have quite that much, but that's a lot of freaking hours. Anyway, so it's off to a fresh start with a new week. Stay tuned. Uh, I got, like I said, I gotta stop real quick at Home Depot, get that twine get about 10 15 bags of black mulch just to finish up that job we ran out on uh on saturday i called about my uti uh, utility i called about my dump trailer he said they're still building it so they don't have it you know it, it's not like it got delivered um he said check in with him this at the end of this week like thursday or friday and he should know better like you know maybe to give me a day i asked him does that thing come with a tarp you know at the front and you can tarp it down and he said no that's additional i'm like really i thought you know tarps are like it's the law you gotta have tarps if you're carrying stuff and he said oh yeah i know but yeah we don't that's additional he goes because some people just prefer to use their own tarps and i said how much and he's like 600 bucks i'm like wow He's like, yeah, it's it's the roll up and it's not a cheap tarp. It's some heavy duty stuff. He said it's at the roll up, and uh, you roll it up, you know, manually, and um, and then you just pull it when you use it and hook it at the end. I said, is it too late to add that on? And he's like, I don't think so, but let me check. So I think he's gonna add that on for me. Uh, I said uh, the the gate in the back is like the farm doors. He goes, yeah. I was like, what about some ramps? Because what if I needed to use it for my equipment? And he said, ah, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll just give you some ramps. So that was really nice of him. So uh, he's hooking me up with some ramps. So <laughs> this guy's bumper sticker says, my son and my money go to Alabama. <laughs> That's hilarious. Steve how you liking Hi. it how you liking it huh how you liking it the shield good. is it working good yeah see it right there a wow oh a dent right here <laughs> <laughs> <In Villa Bay. laughs> hey you got some matching um 
Yeah. Earmuffs, look at that. Looky, looky, here comes Cookie. You got some battery in it? Not yet? Yeah. You got batteries too? You got radio? Yeah. Damn, Steve, you jamming, boy. You know it. <laughs> so it's working out good, huh? Yeah. Awesome. No problems. It's not like. That's why I wore this, cause you know, it's still the neck issue and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but it's, it's not like heavy overall, on. Overall, your face is good to go. It's not heavy on your head or anything nah. like that, where it's weighing down on your hat. I'm trying to figure out the right way to get my tunes and my face shield going right, you know. Sweet man. So. Good, yeah. good, good. I'm glad it. That's, that's a great buy then. Yeah. It's a great buy. I bet you're weed eating now without cringing. Yeah, full throttle. <laughs> <Cold -throttle> <laughs> well, sounds good, buddy. And here's the back, guys. They just finished it up. Looks nice, as you guys have seen this before. No, no, no. Uh, come here. Come here. Uh, I'm serious. Come here. You got to do it. You got to do it like Steve now. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm going to do that. Do it for the vibe. I ain't going to do it. <laughs> do it for the vibe. No. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. You guys are making good progress. If you get a Steve to stay off of a smartphone, <laughs> dude, don't even. You know what YouTube's gonna say about that, dude. No, I'm just kidding. You don't have a smartphone. <laughs> They've been all over you about that phone. You know me? Yeah. But I get my job done. Yeah, I told him that. <laughs> don't be jealous because you can't multitask. Ooh. There you go. Awesome. Looks like Steve's enjoying that face shield. Robot. Like a little robot. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to do with that? Uh, just in the front, you know, where we always dump it in the ditch. I bought uh, 15 bags of mulch just in, just case. in case. Yeah. What's going on, ninjas? All right, let's wrap up this video for today. Uh, just talking a little bit about how I started my lawn care business. Let's adjust this just a little. And, um, you know, just explain to you a little bit how I got here and, and how I started and, um, and the struggles, I guess, would be. Uh, three things that I think every lawn care company or landscaping really goes for any industry, but three things, how I view it, you've got to crawl, kind of like a baby, right? Before they walk, they crawl. Then you start walking, right? Because you're kind of just starting to walk, getting out of that baby stage. And then you're running. And running is your full-grown adult, basically, at that point. Now, same thing with business. You know, you crawl, you walk, you run. I'm definitely not crawling anymore. <laughs> uh, I, I am walking. I don't feel like I'm running. It may seem like it to some of you who are watching this and my like, my gosh, you know, uh, he's so busy, he's got all this work, business is booming. Absolutely, you are right about that, but there is more to it and there's so much more that I wanna accomplish in my business and so to me I feel like I'm walking which is totally fine is where I want to be it's taken me years to even walk guys I've been crawling for years okay so back in 09 I worked of course for a local factory here um, started out like nine ten bucks an hour I'm gonna try to make this as short as possible guys I don't want to turn this into a 40 minute video started out in about nine ten bucks an hour Worked my way up eight years later. I ended up being there eight years, which was longer than I ever thought I would be. Eight years later, I'm about 16, 70 an hour, almost 17, something like that. It's a good amount of money by all means, but it's taken me eight years to get there. I knew all from the get-go that that is not what I wanted to do in my life, but I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do. I was still going to college. I got my two-year associate's degree in business. I didn't really want to be some kind of a manager to a restaurant or anything like that. 
Um, it's just not my type of thing. The, the company that I work for, they did say, you know, uh, when you finish your school, let us know. We'll see what positions we have, have available and we'll try to bump you up slowly. And they did. I went from a labor job to an office job, but it wasn't like a big deal office job. It was like, I wouldn't even call it an office job. I mean, I, I did multiple things in that manufacturer. Um, but I, had, I did end up being also a safety rep for that company, um, which was pretty cool, I guess. And it got me, you know, I learned a lot. And I learned a lot in the company in general. Um, but I knew that that's not what I wanted to do. That was not my thing. So what happened? I, uh, my neighbor, <laughs> he's a, he's an insurance agent or he was at the time. And all of a sudden the neighbor next to him has always been doing lawns. Well, I never thought nothing about it. I enjoyed mowing grass. You know, I enjoyed mowing my own yard and stuff, but I never really, you know, never thought about it. And my neighbor who was the insurance agent, insurance agent started cutting yards just on the side, you know, just cause he was, he was the insurance agent. He had a full-time job. He had kids and a wife and real good neighbors. And, uh, he started mowing yards on the side. And next thing you know, like a year or two later, he's like dropping his insurance agency that he's been working there for years and went full-time mowing. And this guy is still push mowing. He actually refuses to go into the big zero turns, walk behinds, etc., etc. For whatever reason, I don't know, and I don't care. It's his preference. He likes to push mow. He actually sticks to you know smaller yards and things of that nature. But he's gone full time, and I'm like, wow, this guy, you know, he went full time cutting grass, and then he comes over to us and says, we're moving. I just bought a house cash, and it's not a brand new house. It needs remodeling. And that didn't, I didn't care about that. What I put two and two together, I'm like, okay, he quit his job, he's buying a house cash. This industry can provide, basically is what it told me. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna start this. He, so he's, he may not even know till today, even though I think I have shared with him and told him, but he is the reason that opened my eyes to say, hey, I'm gonna get, you know, I'm gonna try something. And it was a big risk, but I wanted to try something. So in 2009, all this was around 2006, well, seven or eight, roughly. And so in 2009, I officially started my lawn care company. Um, you know, <laughs> I was very nervous. I didn't have anything, but um, I didn't have any clients. So the first thing I did is I went to Sears and I bought a first push mower and it was one of those Craftsman 191 cc's I believe or 190. It was the first push mower. And of course I had to buy a weed eater. It was a curved shaft weed eater which I think I picked that up at Lowe's and a little handheld blower. I think a handheld blower I had from a flea market that my father let me borrow at the time. Um, I think he picked it up for 50 bucks, maybe 100 bucks, something like that. All right, so I was sweating putting that weed eater, I mean the weed eater, the push mower, on, you know, buying it. I'm like, you know, not that it's not a lot of money today, but at that time I really didn't have much money. So like putting a $500 purchase on a credit card, I mean, I was sweating guys. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, oh my gosh, this better freaking work. <laughs> And, uh, but once I got it, I was super excited. I was actually so excited <laughs> that I thought I was gonna mow my whole area, my whole town with it. I mean, that's how excited I was. I was so pumped up. But then the struggle came. I started basically um, printing uh, flyers, writing them out, printing them out. And I went door to door and that's the only way I knew I called the post office, I tried to distribute it that way, but it was very expensive. I didn't have the money. I didn't have the capital at the time. And I basically said, you know, I'm gonna just do what I can. And I went and made flyers and I just stuck them on people's mailboxes. You can't open them, you know, don't ever open mailboxes, any of you that are out there thinking about starting or just started. Don't touch people's mailboxes as far as opening them, but you can put them on the side. 
But I even got in trouble for that, but it is legal. I had a, um, a mailman actually freaking do a Yui, like squeaking tires, like three, like a burnout, you know, like come after me. What are you doing? And I'm like, whoa, dude, I'm just putting my flyers on the mailbox. And he said, well, you're not opening them, are you? I said, of course not. And he said, well, I don't care if you're opening them or not, but because if I get to them before the customers get to them, I'm throwing it away. I mean, he was just a jerk. Uh, so who knows how many he actually threw away for, you know, that I wasted, but whatever. It was just part of my struggle. Um, so I really did it, you know, just that way. And I like, I would pick up, maybe I'd throw 200 or 500 flyers and I'd pick up one yard. It was not much, but at the time that was a lot. And I was very appreciative as I am today for any customer. But, um, um, and then I would pick up a client, I'd go to a bank or something and they would see my truck and trailer. I had a 1997 F-250 Ford. <laughs> uh, I had a crappy $300 trailer that was used and busted up that I purchased from a previous friend of mine. Uh, he had a small one, I believe it was like a five by eight single axle, it was a joke. Um, and the reason I say it was a joke because it was torn up, it was shot, like he's been brutally using it and he just didn't need it anymore and I told him I was getting in the business and he said okay you can have it 300 bucks I'm like all right that's all I you know at the time I guess I figured I was a good deal I, maybe it was I don't know but it was a crappy trailer but it got me through for a little while and then I ended up selling it down the road but I had to I had to do some stuff to it um so I had that I had the uh, f-250 which had like 200,000 miles <laughs> and, you know, and that down the road that started giving me trouble and I don't want to get into too much. Maybe there'll be a part two to this, but my point is I started with that and a push mower and my dad's old Troy built tractor and uh, we used it and I finally saved up enough money and I saved up enough, you know, I got enough clients, probably like five to ten clients and uh, enough that I went to Lowe's and I picked up a brand new Troy built tractor because at that time, the dad, my dad's, the, uh, the one that he let us borrow. Keep in mind, he let us borrow. <laughs> we tore it up, basically. <laughs> I tore it up. And, um, and then I saved up enough money for my first zero turn. And so that new tractor that I purchased from Lowe's, I ended up just giving that to my father because uh, um, I, I ruined his old one. So... Uh, I bought my first Troy built uh, Mustang, I believe, zero turn. I believe, don't hold me to that, but I think so. And it was from Lowe's, it was not a commercial grade, but it was such a big deal for me. And guys, all this was within a matter of several years. Like this, not, this did not happen in one year, two years, or so. it was like three years, may, yeah, probably at least two and a half to three years before I even got to the zero turn. The struggle was real, guys, no joke. I remember when I was just praying, praying that I can land more yards. I took on jobs that I look at now and I would never accept for the money that I was doing it for. I would be on jobs for like three, four hours, overgrown yards, knee high for $100. But at the time, it was better than nothing and I needed to get my feet off the ground. I needed to start walking from crawling. And um, I'm sorry I get pumped about this and I'm kind of emotional at the same time because it really has been a journey for me. Um, you know, even when I met my wife back, you know, in, in 2011, uh, my business was still not where it is now. Um, I, I held a full-time job for uh, eight years, and out of those eight years, um, four of them, I believe, at least, were me doing my full-time job and running my lawn care business on the side. It was, it was rough, and I used to work night shifts, so I would work from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. I would run home, hook the trailer, get all the equipment on there, which would by that time be about 9, 
go out and I didn't have a whole lot of yards, but it was tough because I had to go to, back to work the night, that night later. And uh, I would have four yards, sometimes six yards, sometimes three yards, it would just depend. But it doesn't matter, I was out there alone and I was working from 9.30, 10 in the morning after I just finished the 12, night, 12 hour night shift till about three or four, I would go home literally be so dead guys I would crash in the living room wouldn't even change clothes many times and um, and I would sleep till about 637 because I had to go back in at 8 work all night 8 hours 12 hour shifts 8 in the morning redo that same thing there's been times where my I felt my heart beat there's been times where I swerved definitely a lot of energy drinks <laughs> You know, but I knew that I did not want to stay and do what I was doing at the manufacturing job. It was a good job for the time being, for what it is, but it was not for me. So I left finally, you know, and back in 2014, I went full time. So that tells you right there. My, you know, I started at 2009, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So five years actually. Um, not four, five years I did my full-time job and my part-time lawn care. And in 2014, I went full-time, I quit my job. At that point, I was making like 16 something an hour, I believe, and uh, something like that. It was up there, guys, you know, 16, 17. And I said, that's it. I'm at the point where I cannot take on any more customers, but the reason I can't, because this job is stopping me. So I dropped it and What's so funny is that first month, month and a half, that I finally quit my full-time job of eight years, went full-time, I get into a car accident, totals my trailer, my mowers get damaged, all kinds of crap happens. I ended up having knee surgery, lady ran a red light, T-boned me, luckily I had witnesses, but it got me so messed up, so behind. Another story, another video. <laughs> But that was a real test like, hey, you want to go entrepreneurship and work for yourself? This is what we're going to throw at you and uh, see if you're strong and survive. And I did the best I could, but I made it through with the help of my wife and my family and, um, and so forth. Honestly, my parents were not very supportive of me quitting my eight years of full-time job. Neither was my family, such as my sister and things like that nature, my brother-in-law. No, nobody really was too supportive. They always were like, you do what you want, of course, but you know, you're, lo you're losing your full-time gig, your uh, seniority and all this. This is a job. You got a good job. What are you doing? But uh, I blew this, guys. I blew it out of, you know, I completely, ex it exploded. Once I, once I dropped that job, my hands were like tied and they finally just went, you know, free. And I just went full, full blast. So, um, and now I'm here. I still feel like, I still feel like I'm just walking. There's so much more I want to accomplish, so much more I want to do. And of course, I got into the tree work and landscaping a little bit, went through a lot of help. It's so hard to find good help, guys. And that's it, really. I don't want to, you know, it's 16 minutes already, and I know I've recorded a little bit before, so thanks for watching. I'm sorry about Sunday. I did not get to do my vlog. Hopefully, this kind of made up for the Sunday and a little bit today that I recorded for the guys. So stay tuned. Tomorrow's another day. Um, I don't know just yet. Uh, my wife, when she gets home, we're going to go pick up the 2014 F250. They called me, they said it's ready. I need that truck. They did the whole fuel system cleaner, they did the spark plugs replacement, and uh, oil change, rotate tires, and things of that nature. So, uh, we're going to pick that up this evening. She's going to be home here in probably uh, 10, 15, 20 minutes or so. And um, there you have it. I'm going to go ahead and upload this. Thank you so much for watching, supporting, liking, disliking. I don't care. I love you ninjas. Stay tuned for many much more. This is going to be an awesome year and I am so glad you have joined my channel and joined us on our journey through 2017 in the lawn care landscaping industry. Take care my ninjas. Later.